Hey friendly neighbors. So I'm having this thing lately where I feel like we're living in two different worlds. Like there's this guy who I know is racist, homophobic, xenophobic, is a horrible example for kids, is an angry mean bully, but then I hear people talk about him and they're like, oh yeah, he's fine. He's okay, I, I don't mind him. <laughs> and I'm just like, where have you been? Do you not see? Do you not understand reality? Anais Nin said, we don't see things as they are. We see them as we are. When you look at the world, you're viewing it through a lens shaped and powered by the collection of your knowledge and experiences. Like I can tell you that global warming is reality with 100% certainty because of my academic background and the knowledge I've gained. Global warming is reality. We are destroying the earth. We have about seven years to implement significant changes until we cross a threshold to irreparable territory where the damage we've done to this planet cannot be undone. And I can tell you that because of my academic background in science and education, because I worked at NASA GIS, which is the Goddard Institute of Space Studies, where I derived equations for the GCM, the general circulation model that predicts future temperature increases due to climate change and global warming, because I've dedicated decades of my life to learning information that allows me to understand facts as reality. But someone else could tell you that global warming is not real, like it's a matter of opinion or debate. Their perception of the world is different because they have a different background in education, in experiences, in knowledge, in everything they are that makes them see the world as they are. Asking whether global warming is reality, asking if you believe in global warming is like asking if you believe in gravity or water or trees. Do you believe in trees? <laughs> You're like, yeah, <laughs> trees are real. But if somebody doesn't believe in trees, there are a few things you can do to try to convince them. You can tell them trees are real. You can provide facts and evidence and scientific data, all proving that trees, trees are real. You can make a big sign that says trees are real and you can hold it up for them to see, you can take them to a tree so they can see one for themselves and they can touch the tree and they can hear the wind rustling its leaves, but they're still not going to believe in trees because they are seeing the world as they are. Nothing you can do can control that. You can't force anyone to believe in something they don't. All you can do is present facts and educate. But getting angry at someone because they don't believe in those facts or in what you do makes things worse because getting angry just puts more negative energy out into the universe and negative energy affects everything around you. And I think negative energy really is at the core of these problems we're experiencing. Reality is the collection of facts that defines the world around us. This is why education is so important because if we don't gain the knowledge and develop the skills that we need to understand our reality, our misunderstanding of the world just becomes more ingrained over the years. And then we get to a point where we don't recognize horrible things like racism and injustice and environmental destruction. And then we have become part of the problem. So I do this thing sometimes where I think about how I'm seeing the world in a way no one else can, literally. Like I'll be outside walking around and I'll look at people and I just, I stop to think about how I'm seeing them in a way they'll never see themselves and they're seeing me in a way I'll never see myself. It's so interesting how your perception is totally unique in that way. When you see other people, you're seeing them in a way they'll never see themselves. And when they look at you, they're seeing you in a way 
You'll never see yourself. Sometimes I imagine I'm the main character of a movie. Like, if I'm experiencing, I guess, something particularly challenging, or if I feel stress kind of threatening to bubble up, I like to just shut stress down by imagining I'm the main character of my own movie. So I look at my life sort of like I'm watching me as this girl who's a main character, and I'm like, I wonder what's gonna happen next. How's she gonna get herself out of that one? I'm rooting for you, girl. <laughs> because I like to be my own cheerleader. You are the main character of your own movie. Whether your movie is interesting is up to you. Whether you want to continue watching your movie is up to you. Whether you think it's interesting enough for other people to watch is up to you. Whether you like the main character is up to you. You have the power to rewrite your movie if you don't like it. Only you have the power to rewrite the main character. You can't force anyone to understand reality. You can't control anyone else's actions. All you can control are your own actions and that is why the solution lies with us. Each of us has the solution already. You never know who's gonna appear in your movie, but how you treat them is what you can control. If I'm watching your movie, and you get really mad at somebody for not believing in what you do. You lash out and you get angry at them. And it's just, you know what? I'm just gonna stop watching your movie. That, that's a horrible movie. Like I'm so over people not being kind to one another. Why can't we just be kind? I know hurt people hurt people. I know people lash out because they don't know where to put their pain, but I'm really over it. So I'm gonna stop watching your movie if the main character is just like, this ranting, angry person who just is lashing out at the world and trying to hurt other people as much as they're hurting inside. But if I'm watching your movie and the main character is kind to someone who sees things in a different way, if the main character focuses on what they have in common, like being human, and experiencing that connection makes the other person see things in a new way because now who they are is not the same as who they were before your compassion and kindness. That's a good movie. I'm watching that movie. Your kindness affects the world around you. Kindness has the power to change, including the power to change how someone sees the world. Kindness has the power to change reality. You are the main character of your own movie. Make it a good one. Be the change.